If you have NVIDIA GPU and you want to get the best performance out of your PC, so you need to follow these settings on your NVIDIA PC. And guys, to prove it, I boosted my FPS from 100 FPS to 300 plus FPS in Fortnite using this optimization. So make sure to watch this whole video if this is your first time here, subscribe. And with wasting any time, let's dive straight into over this video. So guys, in the very first step, you need to download this brand new NVIDIA app on your PC. Click on this download beta version and guys, you can download this application on your PC. You can find out the link in the description for downloading this application. So once you open up NVIDIA app on your PC, in the very first step, you need to go for this driver tab. And guys, make sure you have updated your driver on the latest version. And guys, by chance, I also got here a brand new update. So click on this download button and download this driver on your PC. Until guys, let's go for the next step. That is our graphics step. So guys, go for it. And now from here, we are going to optimize our global settings for our NVIDIA. So go for your global settings. From here, you need to go for RTX Dynamic Vibrance. Turn it off. Cura GPU, set it on your GPU, whatever you are using. Go for DFR factor, set it off. Image scaling, turn it off. Low latency mode, set it on to the ultra. Max frame rate, turn it off. Monitor technology, set it on G-Sync. Now go for power management and guys click on this drop down and set it on the platform maximum performance. Now go for shader cache size, set it on the 100 GB. Go for vertical sync, turn it off. And go for virtual reality, variable rate, super sampling, turn it off. After doing these settings, now let's go for the next step, that is your system tab. And from here, we are going to slightly and safely overclock our NVIDIA GPU that is also officially recommended by the NVIDIA itself. So guys, for that, you need to go for this performance tab. There you will find that all the statics of your GPU, like your GPU core, GPU power, GPU temperature, GPU voltage, VRAM, GPU utilization, and all the other stuff. Now from here, you will find out this automatic tuning option, which will automatically tuner, which find the best overclock settings for your gpu and maintain that performance on a regular basis so guys this is 100 percent safe and officially recommended by the nvidia itself so you don't need to worry about anything this will handle everything itself so guys click on this turn on option click on the i agree and next and now click on the vf button and guys that's it this will automatically scan your pc and automatically find the best settings for you but guys always keep in mind you need to go for this fan speed option and make sure to set it on the automatic therefore it can automatically handle the fan speed and lower the temperature of your gpu so therefore click on this drop down and set it on the automatic after doing it now you need to go for the settings option and from here you will find that this overlay settings if you are using the nvidia for the recording so guys turn on this option otherwise i recommend you do Otherwise, I recommend you to guys turn off the settings. After doing it, now simply close out of your NVIDIA control panel. Now in the next step, you need to download MSI Utility on your PC. And you can find out the link in the description. So simply go there and download this MSI Utility on your PC. So guys, simply drag it on your desktop. Now right click here and make sure to run this as administrator. Therefore, it can properly work on your PC. Now hit yes. So now from here, you need to follow the every single settings I will show you. So guys, you need to go for your NVIDIA GPU, whatever you're using. So I'm using NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. So go for it. Check mark on this MSI box. After that, go for Interrupt Priority. Click on this drop down and set it onto the high. After doing it, now you need to go for this Intel Ultra HD Graphics 770. So go for this MSI. Check mark here. Now go for Interrupt Priority. Click on this drop down and again set it onto the high. After doing it, now find out here your Intel USB 3.20. Go for it. Check mark onto the MSI. Now go for Intel Purity. Click on this drop down and set it on the high for having the lowest amount of input delay out of your mouse and keyboard. After doing all the settings, now click on the Supply Chains button and apply the settings inside the MSI module utility. Now in the final and the last step, we are going to optimize our Windows graphics settings. So for that, you need to go for your Windows search, search for graphics and open up graphics settings from your system settings. Now go for this default settings option, go for change the default graphic settings and make sure to guys turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling because this will reduce latency and improve your PC performance. So guys turn on the settings, after that go for variable refresh, turn it off, go for optimization for the windowed games. If you are not using the windows full screen in the game, so guys simply turn off the settings and it will help you to getting the best performance out of your PC while you're gaming. Now after doing it, now simply close out of the window and now you have to one time reach your PC, therefore all the changes to properly take effect. After that, launch your favorite game and enjoy the best performance out of it. I hope so you love this optimization. Please make sure to let me know in the comment below and see you again in the next video.